Good morning, everyone. It's Jill Samter, and I am here for Thursday tips. Not Tuesday tips, it's Thursday, at least. I'm hoping it's Thursday. I've been so confused on this week. Um, and yes, I would just like to hang out with my dogs who are right here with me. And what I'm gonna start to do every single week, probably twice a week, is start to unpack what those who are on my newsletter get every single week are tips and the things and the tools that I use to help heal my body. And I've been helping people and educating people with these tips and tools for about 15 years, maybe even longer. And what you're gonna see is this beautiful thing. Hey Sandy, is this beautiful thing uh, behind me is my rebounder. And it's the only form of exercise that I do and that I believe can completely um, change your health and your, um, your body. And I am 51, and this is the only form of exercise I do outside of Dr. Jack, Zach Bush's exercise um, every single week. But I want to start, and I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to bring this back a little bit. So if you can hear me, can you guys let me know if you can hear me? And also just like tell me where you're tuning in from. That would be awesome. So I have a trifold cellar sizer, and I have been using a rebounder for about uh, over 10 years, and I love this thing. I use it every single every single day uh, for about 10 minutes. Sometimes I do it twice a day. Sometimes I'll even do it right before I go to bed because believe it or not, you're able to help your body relax and get rid of all the excess energy that you have from the day to be able to drain your lymphatic system one more time before you go to sleep. And draining your lymphatic system, everybody, is one of the best ways to avoid getting sick. It's one of the best ways to clear your lungs. It's one of the best ways to um, help your body heal. And when you drain your lymphatic system, you're actually helping yourself prevent, which is a big word here, prevent sicknesses. Hey Joshua, can you come in for a second? You don't need to be on camera. I need you to be here to read to me because the writing is so small and I'm far away, I can't see it. So if they ask questions, they can't see you, don't worry. If they ask, can you read the questions on there or what they're saying and then tell me if there's anything like a question so that I can answer it as we go? Yeah. Okay, great. So, all right, everybody. So I have several tools. If you got my newsletter from two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, I listed 10 tools. I should have printed it out for myself, but I have tools that I like to call the things that I take out of my toolbox every single day that help me get really healthy. They're the things that I use to ensure my body is getting optimally healed from the cells all the way to my mitochondria, all the way through my brain, through my entire digestive tract. And one of the things that I love to do is to rebound is one of my tools because like I said, it drains your lymphatic system and it's working every one of your muscles because of the g-force of going up and down and you're working every single cell there's like trillions of cells in our body and you can see like my arms are pretty um uh, firm <laughs> i don't want to say muscular whatever firm for my age i'm 51 and i feel pretty good about that and i will show you my stomach muscles as i'm going because i want you to see how easy it is to um build yourself a little bit of a six pack yes even at my age by doing the rebounder so let's talk about tip number one. Tip number one for today is going to be hydration. It's gonna be my tip number one for every single video that I do from this point on. And if you have questions, maybe you're struggling with losing weight, maybe you're struggling with digestive issues, maybe you're struggling with hormone issues, maybe you're struggling with anxiety, you're struggling with depression, you're struggling with whatever, I can help you each week. Just ask those questions and I'm gonna put answers underneath of here. And I would also suggest that you go over to Jill Sandra, I'll put it into the top of this video when I'm done. Click on my contact um, form and go over there and you can ask me questions and let me know what else you would like to learn about or the topics that you would like me to cover. So tip number one is hydration because hydration is key to literally do a thousand things that are important in your body. Okay, so let's start. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you want to have a quality rebounder. Do not go and buy one at um, Dick's Sporting Goods or um, even Sports Authority or uh, one in a garage sale unless you know that it is a top quality rebounder. The mat is the most important thing. 
The one that I use is by Dave Hall, a seller sizer. He is 62, about to be 63 years old. And if you haven't seen what he looks like, go check him out. You will be amazed at what your body can look like just from being on a seller sizer. Okay. So there's a bunch of them that are really good. You can um, reach out to me again, ask me about the quality and which ones I suggest. That could be something that you might wanna let me know that you're curious about because the mat is extremely important and so are the springs. So my basic routine every single day is this health balance where I literally am just moving my knees up and down and allowing my feet to come off of the mat a little bit. And as I do that, as I am moving my feet, just a tiny little bit off the mat is called a health bounce. If you've never been on a rebounder, this is all you want to do for about four, four minutes. Like you want to get off of here in four minutes because in four minutes you flush your lymphatic system one time. You drain the entire thing one time. Now, some of you may have knee injuries. Some of you may have back injuries. Some of you may have neck injuries. Some of you may have TMJ. Guess what? The rebounder helps work all of the loosening of every single ligament in your body, and it helps all of the uh, discs in your body. It's actually taking off the force off of your, your vertebrae and off of your neck, and it's releasing the tension in your jaw as you are rebounding. So for about three minutes, I will do, um, a, probably about two to three minutes, I will do this health bounce. Then every single day, I will also stretch all of my muscles just by putting my arms back. Can you guys see that where I'm trying to get, I'm trying to show you and talk at the same time, is to get my shoulder blades touching because it's stretching them. I'll put my arms over my head. I'll put my arms directly out to the side. I also do like um, hand presses against each other because that is working my biceps and triceps at the exact same time. I switch hands. And another thing that you want to do if you're a person who works at your computer a lot and you are a person who is sitting down a lot or you're leaning over or you're holding your cell phone a lot during the day, then there are stretches that you want to do literally just by changing your arms over each other. You're going to release all the tension in your shoulders and your back. And then you just switch to the other arm. And you can see I'm just doing the health balance to do that. And I just keep switching one or like probably like three sets of that and I release all the tension in my shoulders and I'm releasing the tension in my neck just from health balancing. Now you ready for the next move? Okay, so the next move that I like to do is I like to open up my lungs and for women this is really important because if a lot of us don't breathe all the way into our diaphragm. We breathe up here, very shallow breath, and we're also not um, taking the time to be really relaxed and allow our body to get enough oxygen. And what's so incredible about rebounding is that we're giving oxygen to every cell in our body and we're increasing our um, lung capacity by being on here and we're building strength in every single muscle, including our eyes, including our eyes. And for those of you that wanna have a beautiful neck and not have the older woman neck, Guess what? Rebounding helps with that too. Okay, so the next move that I like to do is the breath work where I will just literally bounce very lightly up, but I'm going to exhale a pretty deep breath and a sound. So it's gonna sound a little funny, but it's literally ha, 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 ha. And you don't wanna do too many of them at a time because it's going very deeply into your lungs and you can get lightheaded at first. So you want to make sure that everything that I show you each week you work up to because you've never done it. I have watched people, and I've heard Dave talk about this as well, people who have needed knee surgery, not need to need surgery anymore because they've strengthened their knees from, they've strengthened their knees from rebounding and have strengthened their, their shoulders, their backs, their arms, whatever it was that has been a problem, they have strengthened it just from doing this form of exercise. Hey Kathy, hey Lane, hey Paula. Um, so the next thing that I like to do is I like to twist. Now I'm gonna show you my tummy. Yes, I'm brave enough to show you my tummy. But what I'm gonna show you is when you're twisting, I'm working, you can see every muscle is being worked in my stomach as I twist. And what's great about the bar 
is that I can make the moves even bigger, swinging back and forth, because what I'm doing is I'm building all of my stomach muscles, and at the same time, internally, I'm massaging my digestive tract, which is incredible, for the health of how you go to the bathroom. <laughs> so it's great for how you eliminate, but it's also great to build the muscles in your stomach just from twisting. So every day I do about a minute to two minutes of just twisting, and if I'm really into it, I will go faster. Sometimes I will even do a slalom twist, like as if you were skiing. And what's great is it's working different muscles as I am doing it, okay? Now, the next move that I like to do is I like to jog in place. And this is where I get a hit workout in everybody. Um, I'm working every single muscle, my back of my thighs, my hamstrings, uh, my calf muscles, every single muscle, my buttocks, every single muscle is being worked out from the moves that I'm doing. So in 10 minutes, I am able to fully work out every muscle and every cell in my body. Okay, so the next one is I will jog in place, and then I can, oops, it's really loud here because it's not level, but I'll go really fast, really hard uh, for a minute. I cool down by doing the health bounce, and I go right back into that really hard jogging. I just saw that I got blurry. Whoops, there we go. And then I go back into that really hard jogging, and then I do um, the health bounce again to get my breath back. You can do jumping jacks. A lot of times I will do, watch out boys so I don't hurt you, watch out Sammy. I will do side to side kicks because it's working the inner thigh and it's working the outer thigh and that's what got, what got rid of that part of my legs that I didn't like for the last 10, 15 years was literally just by doing these kicks. But the hardest part of this is called the jumbo run. And as Dave Hall said to me the other day, it's a love-hate relationship with these things because they're incredibly hard and you're using your leg muscles, which are your biggest muscles in your entire body. It takes up the most amount of energy and it's hard and it burns really badly. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna give you a few more tips that we're going to expound upon. Each time I come live, I will be here with my rebounder <laughs> and we will talk about different things about using, using it. <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. Um, about using it. Whoops, I made it totally crooked. Sorry about that, guys. So I will um, expound upon, uh, upon <laughs> the different things, the tips that I give out every time in my newsletter. So if you're not on my newsletter and you don't get that every single week, you want to make sure that you go on to the link that I put on the top of this video and I'll make sure it's in the comments for you or somebody can put it for you, Jill Samter uh, backslash contact and you can get yourself one to the newsletter so you don't miss it. But I will make sure that I come here and I educate um, more and share about what I have done on my health journey. I know many of you are struggling with thyroid issues. I know many of you are struggling with losing weight. I know many of you are struggling with anxiety, depression and have all of these different health challenges going on and I'm here to tell you that I can help. Step by step, I can show you what I've done and, um, and, and help you. Okay, so the John Maroon. You know, making fun of me? You ready? Okay, my son's standing here looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, so the John Maroon is pretty simple, but it's extremely hard. And ladies, guess what it does? It gets rid of cellulite in our backside. I'm not showing you, but it gets rid of cellulite in our backsides. It's amazing, but it's really incredibly hard. Okay, so the jumper run, can you guys all see my feet? Like comment below if you can see my feet. I think you can. But so you literally are taking your legs out side to side. This is the jumper walk, right? Now the jumper run is extremely, and I'm going to use, oh, okay. So I hold that for about 30 seconds by one do it because it's really loud right here. I'm gonna have to find a very level place in our, area so that you can um, watch me without me making a ton of noise. I'll find a new spot next week. But anyway, 
Okay, so the next tip is for you to really get healthy, besides doing a rebounder, if you're not gonna do a rebounder, I want you to walk every single day, walk. I have um, helped people who walk in their living room, walk from their kitchen um, to their dining room, walk from their upstairs, downstairs, use their staircases. There's no excuse for you not to walk. So if you don't have a rebounder and you can't um, afford to get one, a good quality one, then start walking. Now that the weather's changing, get outside and walk every single day. Being outside and having the green of nature and the smells of nature um, will help you so much. Uh, Melissa, you said, okay, so guess what? This will strengthen your bladder. It exercises everything internally. I have um, been doing this for a long time and I have been following Dave for over 10 years and I have watched 80 year old women use it, 97 year old women use it. It firms up weak bladders. It actually lifts up things. Um, it, uh, it helps your breasts ladies that it, it lifts them up. So it does all these incredible things for your body. Okay, if you don't have the bar, that's fine. I just got one this year because I wanted to start to do um, even harder moves, which I will be sharing um, in the next couple weeks. Um, some that are just for your stomach, some that are um, really hard that I think that I feel more confident having the bar to do because they're advanced moves and I've been doing this, like I said, for 10 years. So you wanna be moving your body. That's like tip number two. Drink your waters, number one. Number two is making sure you're moving your body every single day. Get up and get moving. If you've been sitting for an hour, get up and move for like three to five minutes. If you are a person that works in a cubicle and you don't have time to go outside and walk your parking lot, walk around your office building. Take a walk, get up and move your body. Uh, sit in your chair and just do stretches at your, at your desk and just release the tension in your shoulders from being on the phone or typing and just do shoulder rolls and shoulder rolls forward. You want to start to move your body. The more that you drink water, the more you move your body, you're going to start to feel better. And, and next time that we come live, I will start to talk about foods that you can eat that are healing for the body. We'll talk about things that you can do to um, change the way that your brain thinks. We're gonna talk about how to have positive thinking and what that does, and laughter and what that does for your body, and having faith and what that does for your body, something bigger than yourself, and how that changes your health. So today's tips are, can anybody put them underneath here? Tip number one is, drink more water, and tip number two is move your body. Even if you don't have a cellar sizer or a rebounder, you wanna make sure that you are moving your body every single day. So I will see you guys back here next Tuesday, and we will be doing this Tuesdays. I think Tuesdays and Thursdays, I feel like that's good days for me. I will be back here to continue on with Tuesday tips and Thursday tips, and I will always be rebounding and giving you new things to add to your own regimen for healthy living. Remember, get on to my newsletter. You wanna contact me and get on to my newsletter and let me know what you would most like to learn about. Have an incredible day, everybody. A blessed rest of your week and thank you for watching.